Let's talk about the oceans. They're clogged with plastic and the coronavirus pandemic does not help. The toxic waste is finding its way to our dinner tables. Soon marine life in many coastal regions will disappear. Yesterday the world observed World Ocean Day. Today it must pledge to act. Here's a report. This is the flathead grey mullet fish. It swims in eusteries and coastal areas in Hong Kong. Steamed grey mullet. Salt baked flathead mullet. This fish is a big part of traditional Chinese cuisine, but its story is unsavory. Take a look at the petri dish next to the flathead grey mullet fish. These are pieces of plastic found inside the fish's body. In some instances, these fishes were found to have ingested up to 80 pieces of microplastic. Is it surprising? No! China is the world's leading ocean polluter. China is the top source of plastic bottles, bags and other rubbish clogging up global sea lanes, according to the latest country-wise data available. Each year, over 3 million metric tons of this waste end up as plastic marine debris. To find out what happens to this plastic in our oceans, let's go back to the petri dish next to the mullet fish. Each time this is what needs to be cleaned out before serving the famous grey mullet fish. If you toss the fish directly into the pan, this toxic plastic waste will end up on your plate. In the southern Chinese territory, at least 170 marine species including mussels, lobsters and silver herring have been found with microplastic inside them. Researchers at the University of Georgia say China and Indonesia alone are responsible for around 5 million tons of plastic waste ending up at sea each year. That's one third of total plastic debris in global waters. The Philippines and Vietnam are next on the list. Thailand and Malaysia too figure in the list of the top 10 ocean polluters. Hardly surprising. As East and Southeast Asia together generate 60% of the global plastic waste. And then there's Bangladesh. Cheap labor has turned these countries into global manufacturing hubs. Especially packaging and textiles. These industries generate the most amount of plastic waste in the world. Improper waste management methods at these middle and lower income coastal countries means plastic waste inevitably finds its way into the oceans. More advanced countries are guilty too. The 23 EU coastal countries release as much plastic debris as the United States. Plastic waste is a serious challenge for the natural world. Entanglement, ingestion, habitat damage. Today, most of these changes in the marine world are irreversible. Add to it discarded fishing gear. And the destruction of marine colonies across the world is nearly complete. Look at this data. Plastic production is only going to increase more than 40% by 2030. Now environmentalists are posing another big question. Will plastic pollution in oceans get worse after the COVID-19 pandemic? Much of the personal protective equipment like gloves, face masks and gowns are only used once. Surgical masks have already begun to wash up on our beaches. Each day, China alone is making over 200,000 masks. Ask yourself, where do all our masks end up? Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.